In the flimsy photo, how to create a water ripple, echo effect very quickly, PC or Mac. In the flimsy photo, go to the tools panel and select the ellipse tool. With the ellipse tool selected, set the fill to anything, black for the stroke and also 25 points. And I'm just gonna create a circle. So hold down shift and then drag to create a circle design. Now create it fairly small. You want it in the center. You wanna avoid going over the edge at any point when you apply the next effect. I've got the guides, I want it in the center. Guides make it really easy to center it. Go to view, show column guides. Also, you can go to guides and then you can just set it to two, two. Unfortunately, there's no presets, would be a really great feature. Doesn't seem to be there. And gutter zero, always defaults to 100. Click close, then go to filters, then blur and Gaussian blur. And you want to avoid going over the edge because if you go over the edge, you'll probably get it cropped. You see a little sharp line, don't want that. And you can then set the radius. And I'm going to go maybe 57. You can blur it or as much as you want, but again, avoid going over the edge. And click apply. And you can see now it's definitely not over the edge. Filters and down to colors and halftone. Now, halftone's got four screens. I'm going to go for the circular one. That's the best one for this. So, halftone. Weirdly, the monochrome is actually colorful. There, screen. It isn't really. If you select it again, it goes to black and white. I think that's a bit of a bug. Color, line, and also circle, which is the one I want. And by default, it goes for that. Now you can go with that, perfectly reasonable, you could use it. But you can also modify the cell size. And you can just drag on the document and you can see you can just change it that way. Another option, simply just go and change it there. And I'm gonna go for about 15, 20, depends on what you want. But you don't want them too crunched up because if you go too far, you get that, which is not ideal unless that's the effect you want to achieve, and click apply. So with this now, you can see again, not over the edge, there's no sharp lines anywhere. Hold down the ultra option key, that's on the keyboard, and drag. And that will create an echo effect or ripples, water ripples. And you can see by just holding down the ultra option and then dragging, it will duplicate that design. And you can repeat that multiple times. You can go to layer, new pattern layer from selection. New pattern, and then you will see now you've got a pattern. Now you can just remove that one for now. And with that, you can go to layer and duplicate or do exactly the same as before, and then just move that. And you can see now you've got a pattern design. If you want to recolor it, there's a couple of ways to do this. You can go to filters, apply image, is always a good one. And you use current layer as source. And then you go to equations, and then you go to SR times 0.5. And you can see then you get blue or SG times 1.1 or SB times 0.2 and so on. You can see by just varying the settings or putting minus or plus, but also another option, maybe go here again, select the ellipse tool, apply it on top. With that on top, you can always go to blend modes and you can run through there, multiply or maybe difference and create some interesting color effects there. Obviously just align them very quickly. You can also use a layer new adjustment layer, and just go down here to maybe recolor. Oh, gradient map or any of the others. And you can then go lightness, saturation, change that, hue, and close that. And you can see then you've got this adjustment and you can just drag that down onto there and then it's part of that. And you can move it around, reposition it. And then of course, do exactly the same as before. So select that, drag and move it around to create an interesting effect like that. Another thing you do, you can just resize them. You don't have to keep them the same size. So just drag down, scale it. Maybe drag that one over there, create multiple copies. Again, resize them. You can also go to filters and distort and deform, or maybe use some of the others. And then distort the design by dragging the pins and creating all kinds of unique shapes. Again, hold down the ultra option key and drag to duplicate that design to create, again, some interesting warped and wonderful designs. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Thank you much.